So I recently made the executive decision to skip half a week of school and go to an optometry conference. I'm gonna be behind and I gotta kinda rush and get all my assignments in before the week. But the conference is called the College of Optometrists and Vision Development Meeting. So it's basically like vision therapy doctors and uh, there's not gonna be a lot of first year students there, but I think it's going to be a really good time. So let's go. So I took an exam this morning, had three hours of class, went home, changed, packed up all my stuff, and now I gotta go to campus, finish up an assignment, eat this apple, and then go to the airport. Wish me luck. So just got to the airport, it's pretty busy here, and turns out my flight got delayed by an hour. So that's what you get for flying Spirit Airlines, but as a poor student, um, there's not, not much I can do. So we landed in Vegas. We, it's me. I just, uh, I'm traveling alone. Kind of going to the conference alone. I don't know if I said that. But uh, I got a quesadilla because I'm hungry. And that was a quesadilla. Um, it was kind of bland and sucked. But, yeah, you know, you get you get what you pay for. And um, you can tell we're in the Vegas airport because you got a bunch of casino, little portable casinos. And there's even a smoking casino back there. Um, but, yeah, just waiting for my connecting flight at 11.30. So I got about a two and a half hour layover here and then I'll get to, oh man, I don't know why I chose Spirit Airlines to save some money, but I get to Columbus, Ohio at 5 a.m. tomorrow. So, <laughs> ah, wish me luck. Well, uh, I think I might try to get a little bit of sleep um, before the flight. So I'm just on the floor uh, against the wall. I uh, gotta try to catch some Z's. It's actually a good view. I don't know if you can see, but there's like downtown Las Vegas just right there, the strip. This is gonna be a long two days. So it just touched down in Columbus and I'm, I'm just gonna say Spirit Airlines, one out of 10. I'm honestly freezing, sick to my stomach because the whole time, I swear they were doing it on purpose. The plane was just like <laughs> super tired, super cold because I didn't think of packing anything warm. I got used to Phoenix and it's like 90 degrees and right now we touched down and it's 40 degrees. So I'm gonna need to like buy a jacket or something. I'm either, haven't decided if I'm just gonna crash here at the airport or try to get into my hotel room early, but it's 5 a.m. The next thing I have is at seven tonight I have uh, uh, my first meeting for the conference and so it's basically I'm just gonna kill time from now until 7 p.m. and if you noticed I'm wearing my duffel bag like a freaking idiot uh, but that's just so I don't have to pay for a carry-on fee so uh, it worked so I've made the executive decision that I'd feel a little less trashy sleeping here at the airport than I would in the lounge of the uh, hotel so I'm just gonna crash here until it's not absolutely pitch black outside and then head over to the hotel after I get a little bit of rest so I just ubered over from the hotel so that was fun but uh, basically I am just gonna chill here at the hotel for six hours and before I can check in and actually take a nap so this is my setup I found a place where I can plug in and wait till Spirit Airline gets this wicked review I'm about to do. So I ended up biting the bullet and just paying the fee to check in early because I could not sleep at all. But look at the view. Wow. So I just took a fat nap. I literally slept for like six hours. So worth it to check into my hotel room early. But now I'm gonna go wander around and find out where I check in and stuff and then I got a meeting tonight at 7. That was actually like so 
freaking cool. Like, I thought like maybe I'd bump into people who I like look up to or know, but I literally got to like shake hands and introduce myself and like have people interact with me for people I'd like would die to get to know. It's just so cool. Like there was actually, Dr. Hellenstein was like introducing me to all of her friends. And she was like, this kid is so cool. I was like, what? What? But I came with like out friends, like full disclaimer. I just kind of like came here and it's kind of lonely, but it totally made up for it. We'll be getting to meet people. And oicide is a part of a follicle. So a follicle makes up a bigger structure. Okay? There are many different cell types that make up a follicle and an oocyte. Oh. What's up, YouTube? Second day. We're uh, here with Carter, my roommate. He got Whoa! here at like midnight last night. And uh, he's a vision therapy with me. Uh, we uh, were vision therapists together. And our boss is going to be here. Yeah. So that's cool. But yeah, uh, we're just going to go get some Becky uh, breakfast oh, at uh, 7.30 and then go to classes. So <laughs> just had breakfast and now off to the first lecture of today about concussions and treating it with augmented reality. So I just got out of three hours of lectures and honestly, I've learned so much in the past three hours. It's like, I don't know, this is better than optometry school because this is all what I love. So uh, now we're about to ha go have some lunch. I didn't get a lunch ticket because I signed up as a student, so I don't get free lunch. But uh, we'll see what I can uh, mangle up. So uh, we don't I, don't, I can't get lunch. So we're walking to a grocery store and it's raining and cold. We found this cool little indoor marketplace. So I just got out of a vision therapy um, meeting or talk and um, they were doing examples and I raised my hand to go up there and made a fool out of myself answered a question wrong and now all my colleagues probably think I'm an idiot so that's good but my phone's dying I gotta run up and get a charger before my next meeting Showing down. so um So I honestly passed out after the last class and um, I woke up, I had some pizza with uh, Dr. Duval and uh, my old co-workers and now I have a little social that I'm going to tonight, but my key stopped working so I can't get into my room to get the ticket to the social, so let's see what happens. First floor, lobby. So that was a crazy night tonight, I wish I would have had my phone out and filmed some of it, but that... Um, meeting tonight turned out to be just like a bunch of doctors looking for students to hire. So I, I felt pretty useless as a first year because people would come up to me and be like, so, you know, like, who are you? Tell me about yourself. But like I was four years out from being hired, so nobody really cared about me. But it was cool to be a first year student there. I met another first year student and she was like, hey, I need to take you up to the suite upstairs. And so um, on this 20th floor of this building, there's like apparently this doctor suite where like all these bigwigs were hanging out. So I um, basically was just hanging out there and talking to like these really cool doctors until like 11 when they kicked us out. So basically now I'm just gonna go to sleep and then get up tomorrow morning and have another good day of classes. What's up YouTube? So we're crazy and for some reason we woke up at 5 a.m. to do an all quad workout. These bad boys aren't going to be able to stand, stand all day. <sighs> Head to Brecky Brack. Brecky Brack. Brecky You know, I grew up watching all the, you know, lost shows and really dating myself because I already know how old I am. But, um, you yeah, know, like Perry Mason. I uh, just got out of a brain injury um, course on how you can be a better expert witness when you stand trial in court. So that was actually really cool and I think it was just super eye-opening. Uh, but now we're just chilling in an afternoon break 
and um, I'm gonna go to a, my next class, which is everything they don't teach you in optometry school. So that's gonna be great. So these meetings have been crazy. The last one I went to was one on amblyopia, and honestly, like the revolutions in the treatment of amblyopia have changed so much in the last few years. It's just really cool. So like lazy eye. Um, lazy eye treatments and then I just got done with a panel that was over my lunch so I didn't get to eat but hopefully I'll be able to eat soon but it was a panel of all these experienced doctors who just basically were like ask me anything and uh, it was called what optometry school doesn't teach you so it was just so cool to pick people's minds for a little bit and I don't know I've, I'm having the time of my life this <laughs> is so fun yeah just re be between classes right now So I just went out to dinner with Chad and we talked like business and stuff, but it's kind of chilly outside and uh, I didn't bring a jacket. So that's fun, but good burgers though. So I'm back in the hotel room and I think I already mentioned this, but as a student, like it's cheaper to come, but you don't get any tickets to go to any of the events. So like even lunches and the big banquet tonight, you don't get to go to. So. I'm just here in the hotel room chilling while literally every doctor and every vision therapist is down there at the banquet. Uh, so, you know, I'll probably just like watch the classes that I skipped to come here. Um, but sad story, uh, I was holding the door open for someone and um, the door ended up ripping my shoe. And these are nice shoes and they just kind of like came off. But I don't know if it looks that bad on the video, but I was appalled. It was so sad. But yeah, um... Basically, it's almost over. We just have a little bit tomorrow morning and then flying out. Oh, why, why am I like this? I forgot to vlog anything the rest of the night, but basically I just um, came home, showered, and then played some uh, Jackbox games with the old doctor I used to work for. Good night. Last day, Saturday, we just had breakfast in the morning, watched a quick lecture on a little patching, binasal patching, and uh, now back at the hotel room, changing into sweatpants and watching it snow outside. It is legit. There's snow falling outside, and I still don't have a jacket, but we're gonna head to the airport in like an hour, so we're just gonna pack, and then I'm gonna watch all the lectures that I missed online uh, while I'm at the airport. Only six more hours left. Leaving Columbus, I think I've had a lot of fun, but the biggest thing I learned is that I need to come to more conferences and that this was super fun and I met a lot of people who are probably going to change my life one day. So go to conferences and make sure you get better flights than I do because I don't get home until 2 a.m. tonight.